there is like, you know, an end to climbing hard. Like that, that's just like an, a physical reality that no one can escape from. And so I was like, how can I contribute to climbing in a way that can last beyond like just my own actual climbing? Yeah, you know, throughout this whole entire pod, like there's just this thread of you, man, right? Like this is what you're looking for. This is how you show up as a climber. This is what you want to do. This is how you want to leave your mark on climbing, how you view climbing. And I'm going to say, this is why it's so cool that you went out and made a climbing brand. So growing up skating, like skateboarding is relatively core compared to most industries and like all of the like well-renowned skate companies were started and are owned by professional skaters or ex-professional skaters. And you don't really see that at all in the climbing industry. And in the last few years, there's just been like a pretty real drop off in terms of like professional climber support, particularly in the outdoor scene. Like I would say that the comp scene is getting more financial support, but then in the outdoor climbing scene, there's a lot less overall. You know, I'm getting a little older, like I still am climbing better than I ever have. And I feel like I have a, another solid decade in me at least, but- Look at Randy. There, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there is like, you know, an end to climbing hard. Like that, that's just like an, a physical reality that no one can escape from. And so I was like, how can I contribute to climbing in a way that can last beyond like just my own actual climbing. And so, I mean, I haven't really talked about this yet, but like the actual end goal of anti-grab is to be able to like support professional climbers, is to like be able to provide financial support to like a, an actual, on a meaningful level to like push outdoor climbing and like support outdoor climbers because I'm like, legitimately concerned that that is like falling by the wayside and that like climbing is, is losing that aspect of it and that like outdoor climbing is like dying essentially or not not that outdoor climbing is dying but like people being able to pursue climbing and do new things and like push the level is dying i've also just been like pretty bored stylistically with climbing apparel like ever since i started climbing i've always felt like not I don't know that it wasn't very edgy or very fun or like that it took itself itself too seriously. I don't know. I wanted to build something that has like more of my own style ingrained in it, but then also in the long run is able to support climbing in a meaningful way. Growing up, I always wanted to support skate companies. Like I gave all of my money towards skating and I never felt bad about it because I was like, well, it's just going to skaters that inspire me. And so it's like, I want, people that are buying clothes from anti-grab or whatever to be like, I'm okay doing this and I'm psyched to support this company because I know that it's just going back into climbing. It's not going to like some random investors that are just like fucking off to, you know, the, some island in Baja or something. It's just like recirculating money amongst climbers is not like, I don't know, it's something cool to me. And I think that like, I want to be able to build like a, like a space where outdoor climbing can like exist and is like worth pursuing.